I'm Justin with americantrucks.com and on this episode of The Haul, we're going camping. What's going on guys? Justin with americantrucks.com and yes, we are in the great outdoors with a couple of our F-150s as you can see here and I would say that there's nothing like getting out with your rig the boys, the family, whatever, and get underneath the stars, tell some stories, and do some camping. I mean, trucks and off-road and camping, they've all kind of gone hand in hand together for many years. Now, lately, of course, that big craze is overlanding, right? You hear overlanding everywhere. Well, that's not exactly what we're gonna be doing here today. I'd say overlanding's more of the act of exploring unknown terrain with some camping mixed in, but this video is gonna focus more on the physical act of camping. With that said, what this video will not be is a comprehensive list of what you absolutely must have to go camping. Instead, gonna be a few suggestions of some cool parts here at AT that might make your camping experience a little bit more fun. So with that said, let's set up camp. All right, guys, first up, we have a part that's kind of a must have for any camping build or trip, and that is a cooler. But what you're looking at here, guys, is not just any cooler, this is ARB's fridge freezer in the 82 quart version. This thing is monstrous. Now what this is, is basically a cooler refrigerator kind of deal for your truck. Plug it in 12, 24, 120 volts, draws only one amp per hour when set to 37 degrees, and it's gonna keep your stuff cool without any ice. You guys know the deal, you're off-road, you're camping for maybe a couple days at a time, that ice has a lifespan. With this, you don't have to worry about that whatsoever. Everything's fully programmable here up front on your screen. Power, again, zero to 50 degrees, you can set this thing at. Inside, though, is the big story here. 82 quarts, again, for your size, 120 12-ounce cans is what that works out to, but a couple cool things I really like. It's got a separate like fruit or dairy area. It's gonna keep your stuff about five to six degrees warmer than the main compartment, so you don't get your milk all curdled up or freezing on you. Main compartment's got a couple of different sections for your water or your favorite adult beverage. And uh, yeah, guys, this thing is completely badass. You're spending the money, of course, don't get me wrong. This isn't your typical Coleman, but you're getting a quality product in return. And the best part is, no soggy sandwiches. Who's hungry? Well, from keeping things cool to keeping things full of air, that is. Uh, we're talking about the Smitty Built Small But Mighty Portable Air Compressor. Now, these things are killer, not only for the campsite, just for any rig in general, especially if you go off-roading a bit and you need to not only air down your tires, but obviously eventually air them back up. This little guy is great. Right around 100 bucks for this thing, super compact, super portable. Uh, pumps about 72 liters per minute, so it's not exactly lightning fast, but it will get the job done for right around 100 bucks. Again, far more affordable than those onboard air systems, which don't get me wrong, are very nice, but if you're not wheeling every weekend and you don't need anything that hardcore, this is an awesome thing to keep in your back seat. Does draw 30 amps at max use here. So guys, if you are using this to air up your tires after some wheeling, you're gonna wanna make sure your truck is turned on, otherwise you will kill your battery. Speaking of which, this thing couldn't be any easier to plug in, guys, or hook up. They give you two, basically, clips here, one on the negative, one on the positive, you fire up and you're good to go. But other than that, they do kick in some really nice stuff, built-in air gauge here for your main hose. They do also give you 24 feet of coiled hose, so more than enough space to kind of work your way around the truck. So tires we've talked about, but obviously if we're using it here in the camping setting, we're talking about airing up some rafts or something like that, some tubes if you're on the lake, or my favorite thing, thanks Montana, the old pigskin here. So basically they give you some nice attachments, you plug her in, you take a look at your gauge, fire up, and there you go. Put a couple pounds in and you're good to go. Up next we have two parts that will surely make your camping experience a heck of a lot more comfortable. First up, the right line gear, full size truck tent, and inside the right line gear air mattress, which we will show you in a second. I think truck or bed camping has become a lot more popular recently, thanks in part to companies like right line gear who make killer products, of course, but let's face it, it's nice to kind of be up off the ground in case it's wet or snowy, you're not sleeping on that ground, and secondly, you're kind of up away from all those critters who might otherwise try to get inside your tent or your sleeping bag. Now this thing is awesome for south of 200 bucks, right? Full size tent for the five and a half foot box, so you're getting a lot of space in here, and it goes up really easily. In fact, my buddy Sage and I, first time throwing this thing up, 
maybe 30 minutes, and after that, you know the deal. It just only gets easier from there. Let's open this thing up. We'll show you some of the features, of course, here, guys. And uh, yeah, a lot of space. Five and a half foot box, so typically not the biggest bed for the F-150, but because the right line utilizes the tailgate folded down, you're getting more real estate, and in turn, it doesn't feel very cramped in here. You can fit two adults comfortably according to right line gear, and maybe even your kid if you want to. You're getting also very cool stuff like glow in the dark zipper pools to help you find those things in the middle of the night. I really, really like the vents on the top of the tent, not only for ventilation, but kind of gives you a nice little viewing window at night to view the stars or whatever you guys want to do. You also see the lantern hanging up there. That's thanks to the lantern hook and even a couple of pockets built in as well. So again, for south of 200 bucks, really killer stuff. They even kick in a nice little rain guard for you here to cover up that vent in case you run into some nasty weather. But let's talk about the right line air mattress. This is a full size mattress, guys, again, for the five and a half foot box. So it does utilize that space with the tailgate down. Uh, about 81 by 50 inches can comfortably fit two adults here at this guy as well. And nice little thing, they kick in an electric pump that you just throw into the cigarette lighter in your truck. Pumps up and I'd say less than a minute. So this is the way to do it, right? If you're going truck camping and you wanna be comfortable and dry, I'd say getting a bed tent along with a nice air mattress is the only way to roll. Moving inside the cab, we have a part that's not necessarily unique to camping, but I'd say just really beneficial to any truck owner out there, and that is Husky's under seat storage or gearbox. Uh, we've talked about these things before in some other builds, and they're really just worth their weight in gold. Help you keep stuff organized underneath your seat. And for just over 100 bucks here, 150 bucks, they are really, really useful. Now for our camping trip, you can keep things obviously, like you got your little hatchet back here. We got some ratchet straps. It'd be a great place to keep recovery gear if you are doing some off-roading while getting to the campsite. Again, just 101 uses for these things. They attach to some anchor points here underneath the uh, rear seat, and they are either super cab or super cruise specific. So just make sure you're checking out the right one for your application. Best of all, my favorite part about camping, the old Red Rider. Well, from one useful part to another, up next we got a part that I really am a big fan of, and let's talk about it a little bit more. This is the Circo Hitch Basket. Now, I know you guys are seeing this and going like, wait a minute, dude, you got two pickup trucks. You're telling me you can't fit everything in the beds? Well, you guys know the deal, right? If you're taking these trips with your boys or the family, everybody's got a suitcase or a gear bag. Everybody's got coolers, you got supplies. These things tend to fill up quick, so if that's the case, this is kind of your next best option. Relatively affordable, uh, right around 200 bucks here. It can support up to 500 pounds, and the best part is it installs in a matter of seconds. Simply slide it in the receiver, secure it with your hitch pin, and you're good to go. You're getting a lot more real estate back here, guys. Burly steel, it is powder coated. But one thing to keep in mind, guys, is that it is going to block the rear plate depending on how much gear you have in here. So you might want to attach one to the back side of the Circo just to be on the safe side. So whether it's coolers, extra gear bags, your kids' bikes, whatever, if you're having trouble fitting everything in the cab or the bed of your truck, going with a hitch basket like this is a very, very wise decision. Now the nice thing is I told you guys how easy it is to install this thing. Well, guess what's even easier to uninstall? Simply yank the pin out of your hitch, pull that out, slide it out of your receiver and you're good to go. So very useful part here. And again, I know not everybody needs this with a big old pickup truck, but if you are tapped for space, these things are awesome. Two more parts to show you guys in the bed of this puppy here. So let's check those out. All right, check this thing out, guys. Huh? This is the coolest. It's called the Jammock, and yes, it is a play on the hammock word, but no, it's not all about leisure. It does actually serve a purpose outside of being just a very comfy spot to hang out. It does act as a cargo cover here for all of your bed gear while you're on the highway to keep things from blowing out. Now, when it does come to laying on this thing, it supports up to 300 pounds. Really, really easy to install. It just goes in your stake pocket holes here. You tighten things up with the strap and you're chilling at the campsite for as long as you like. The hard part is claiming this thing because it is very popular, but I will say it's a lot easier getting in than it is to get out. But we have one more part to show you here. Thank you, Matt. It involves a ping pong ball and I'm sure you guys can figure out the rest. Now, if you guys guessed beer pong, well, you'd be partially correct. Ah, there it is. Oh, oh well. Uh, now this is tailgate pong. So 
Very cool product for about 100 bucks, guys. Installs right in the back of your tailgate here, whether stock or even with some bed liner stuff, spray liner, line X, things like that. And it just makes way for an impromptu game of Pong at your campsite, tailgate, block party, whatever, and instantly turns your truck into the star of the show. Uh, very easy to install. It reuses eight bolt holes or screw holes in your factory tailgate. They supply you the hardware. They give you a couple of ping pong balls. You guys supply the solo cups and the beer or water or whatever drink of choice, I guess, and have a whole lot of fun. So a nice little cherry on top of our camping build here and one that's certainly going to spark a lot of fun for the next couple of hours here at our campsite. Sir, you're up. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's going to wrap up our little camping video here with AT. We hope you enjoyed it. Again, not necessarily life and death necessities out there on your next camping trip, but maybe some stuff to make your camping experience a little bit more enjoyable. Guys, we hope you enjoyed the video. Of course, give us a subscribe if you dig our content. We certainly would appreciate it. But for now, I'm next on the Pong table, so we'll see you later. <laughs>